What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Link in the description for the merchandise. Don't forget to hit all them promo codes. Today we got some stuff going on. I'll let BJ explain it to you so we can get to it. All right, what's up guys? It's your boy BJ. We got this tool here for the impact and we're going to use this to take the knockoffs off the rims and get the rims off real quick. Seen some of you guys been commenting saying that I should have swingers on this ride too. First see if this tool works. Take the wheel off. And then we'll slap a swinger on there and see what it looks like. Out of body, the flow. They want it more. I give them more. Let's yeah, let's see if this shit works. WD-40 around it and uh, this right here made in England on this tool right here guys I'll get the website that I got it from I got it like a year and a half ago and never used it but that uh, make your wing caps a lot easier to pull off and when I bought this tool they only had it for this style deal so if you have bullet tips and uh, hexagon tips, it won't work for you. You have to do the traditional stuff. Somebody commented and said they wanted to see this thing on a swinger, so 84s or 83s. All right, guys. So for the guys that know about swingers and old schools, you already know this information. But um, I can't recall the exact years, but I know this is an 84 cutlass. The hub will fit into this pocket in the rim. So you don't need adapters to fit on the old school. They'll bolt right up. But, uh, for one, I wanted to see if this tool worked because in the past, in it the traditional way, it was hard to get these uh, knockoffs off. I'll get the website for these guys if you're interested in this tool. If I want a slab, I can throw those on. If I want a low rider, I'll throw the spokes back on there, but I'm just lacking the trunk sign for this thing. Perfect. So what we're going to do is right now we're going to take off the cylinder and uh, leave the coil in the front and then we're going to take off the sway bar because um, that was still there and that stops the vehicle from going side to side and hitting three wheel like he wants to. So we're going to take that off. We're going to try to take off this wheel with uh, the tool we got. So right now this isn't working. Um, these wheels have been sitting on here for like seven years, six years. What I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a rag, I'm gonna zip tie it to the bottom, zip tie it around here. We'll see if we can get it at least a little bit more loose, hitting it this way with something. We'll get back to using this right now. <laughs> that thing's on there, bro. Come on. <laughs> Cody. 9 sixteenths and 9 sixteenths for the sway bar links. We're going to take off the sway bar bushings, take off the sway bar, and uh, it should drop it a good two inches or so from where it was at um also i'm gonna take off the bump stop any rise 
to have airbags or hydraulics, it's a good thing to take it off because you definitely don't need it if you're trying to three wheel or go side to side. All right, so we disconnected the sway bar from the lower control arm, took off the bump stop. Um, we got to get the coil out and the hydraulic cylinder out, and then we're just going to put the coil back by itself like we did on the other side for the meantime. And right now we're going to take off this bolt here, the other bolt in the back, and then on that side the same thing. There's two bolts, and we're going to take this off and get it out of here. All right, look. Alright, so there's two bolts on this side, two bolts on that side, and then there's these uh, brackets. Perfect. 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 So now, cylinder. Pull up on the cylinder and I'll take out the, the coil. This one was like that? Nope. There's a bolt that's supposed to go in the bottom of that. Thanks for half assing this car, guys, when you built it. Yeah. <laughs> it's the way it's supposed to be right there. All right guys, so we finished taking out the front hydraulic cylinders on both sides. Now the front sits down a little bit lower, also taking off that sway bar and those bump stops. There's still like an inch of space. That gives us an idea of what kind of coils to get um, when we do order the kit. That's why we're doing this in the first place. Mounting up the 84s um, came into an issue rubbing on the tie rod. So we're unable to use them or leave them bolted up. Other than that, you guys got to see what it looked like with the swingers. Stay tuned for more videos on this. Uh, I know we've been lacking a little bit on this. Hit that notification bell and peace, motherfucker. Like a rock, smoke weed like a rock. She call me Papa, she call me Papa. Time to spurge like pockets, spurge like pockets. You know they can't stop us, you know they can't stop us. Keep your mind at ease.